This is a neuron. It's the basic working unit of the brain, a specialized electrically excitable cell designed to transmit information to all other kinds of cells. The average brain has about 100 billion of these, each connected to up to 10,000 other neurons, passing signals to each other equivalent to a trillion bit per second processor. As messages move from one neuron to another, they're converted from an electrical to chemical signal and back again. Every neuron has a voltage gradient across its cell membrane, and when it fires, it generates large fluctuations in the voltage. This can be measured and displayed as a waveform that looks like a spike, cluster of spikes or burst. Typically, a combination of these are generated as a sequence. Being the sonic adventurers that we are, we of course would like to listen to any interesting looking waveforms created by natural processes. So the question is, how would we go about hearing these? Well, it so happens there's a mathematical model which simulates the spiking and bursting behaviour of neurons called the hindmarsh rose model. I'm just going to briefly touch on it, you can visit my site for more detail. It expresses three differential equations and three variables. X, the membrane potential, Y, spiking variable, and Z, bursting variable. I is the stimulating current that enters the neuron. What we want is a plot of X versus time, so how do we get that? Well, we can use a numeric technique for solving differential equations, and the Euler method is probably the simplest of these, and is what I've used. And by changing the values of the parameters I've circled here, we get the full range of membrane voltage behaviour that's observed in practice. I've used this model as the sound engine of the synth neuron noise, and here are the changeable parameters exposed as sliders. I've allowed a wider range of values for these parameters than is typical, because this way we can generate a broader range of waveforms and so sounds, increasing the versatility of the synth. So now, here's what some of these waveforms sound like. The sounds the synth can produce are diverse enough to create a track with. Here's a short piece where it's provided the bass, pads, brassy stabs, string-like sounds, and of course all the percussion-y pings and hits and other sound effects. I've used only garble marvel in addition for generating the synthetic vocals. And by the way, no door has been used here at all. I've just played neuron noise with a MIDI keyboard directly recording the audio into Audacity and then EQing and arranging the parts there. <laughs> Yeah. 